Welcome to June's Lead Code Challenge. Today's problem is delete node in a linked list. Write a function to delete a node in a singly linked list given only access to that node. So that's the um, part that's going to be difficult. So say that we're given a node like this and we're only given access to node 5. We want it to now look like 419 where 4 points to 1. So normally when you do this, you'll have to start at the previous node to point that next pointer to the to the current node's next node. Uh, either that or you need to pass in a pointer to that previous node, uh, but we're not going to be able to do any of that because we're starting at the current node that we want to pop off. So in order to do that, like, we have to first realize that we have to forget about changing the previous node's pointer because we can't do that. What we could do, however, is get this no current node's value to look just like the next node's value. And if we can do that, then we can get this current node's value, which is now a copy of the next node, to point to the next next node. And uh, say you're, you were given this like in an interview, you would definitely need to ask some questions like, oh, what about the head and tail? But luckily they give some assumptions here where uh, it'll, the node will never be the tail, so that's good. And all the node values will be unique. So that's also good because we don't need to worry about what happens if the value is um, if there's repeat values, there's more than one node that has this value. All right, so how can we do this? Well, at the current node, we're going to make its value equal to the node's next value, next node's value. So essentially what we're doing there is making this node that we're on a copy of the next node. That way, we'll just say, all right, now this node point it to the next next node because now we're creating a copy of the next one and now we're skipping over that next next one or the, the next node because now this current node is a copy of the ne next node. So we can just get rid of the next node now and that is really it. Um, so we got an answer here and we can submit that and accept it. So not too complicated. Uh, the only tricky part is to get out of that framework of, oh, how can we get that previous node's pointer to point to the next, or the previous node's next pointer to point to the next next node. Uh, and just forget about that and think about, oh, what could we do at this current node to just return a linked list that looks just like what would happen if uh, we'd pop that one off. And really there's nothing to stop us from making a copy of the next node because as far as we're concerned, it's the same thing. It, might not be technically the same thing. It's not pointing to the exact same position in the, in the computer, but it's fine because the node still looks, or the linked list will look the same. Thank you.